Have you heard about the ELK or the ELK stack? Let's see what is ELK and what do they really stand for and why people are using ELK in their deployments. Let's get started. Press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss any update from Tech Primers. ELK stands for Elasticsearch, Logstash, and Kibana. ELK is generally a stack of components which Elastic has released and people use that together to get something out of it. Let's see what are those. What is Elasticsearch? So if you don't know about Elasticsearch, Elasticsearch is a distributed NoSQL database which uses JSON-like messages where you can store messages in the form of JSON across distributed systems where you can scale across indexes. Elasticsearch is a distributed system. You can expose RESTful APIs. So if you install Elasticsearch instance in your deployment, you can expose RESTful services from that particular Elasticsearch instance. Previously, Elasticsearch was a single entity uh, which was called as Elasticsearch as a company. Later on, Elasticsearch was created as a product and Elastic was the company and they have different products under their stack. One of them is Elastic. The other component which is the Logstash. Logstash is another framework or you can call it as a collector which collects data from different sources and then streams the data in the form of data processing pipeline onto the Elasticsearch instance. Imagine Elasticsearch as a database and Logstash as the streaming component which pushes the logs onto Elasticsearch. And finally Kibana. Kibana is nothing but the UI component which displays the data in the way you want it over the Elasticsearch instance. If you have a deployment, you will have Elasticsearch as a separate component in a separate instance. You will be having Logstash which is streaming data from different machines or infrastructures and you will have a Kibana UI deployed over the Elasticsearch instance where you can see different reports, you can see different uh, analytics. So if you notice here, this is an example of Kibana UI which is custom made where you can configure different stats, you can configure different data and you can create reports and dashboards out of the Kibana UI based on your reference and the data which is present. So that is Kibana. So if you see what is ELK, ELK stands for Elasticsearch, Logstash and Kibana. They are called together as ELK stack. If you are using Splunk, Splunk has its own collector so you have a Splunk agent running so that collects the data and then pushes on to Splunk and Splunk has its own UI as well so in the background it, it uses Elastic as well but uh, Elk is like a pure component provided by Elastic company so which has Elasticsearch, Kibana and the um, Logstash so previously Logstash was a separate company, Elasticsearch was a separate component, Kibana was a separate component they all form together to analyze just the logs right so you can create log analytics information from the log. Uh, there is also a new product called Elastic Cloud. I had created an Elastic Cloud where you can configure different clusters. I created an account here. Uh, it was valid for 14 days. What I have done is I have just created a single Elastic node on the Google Cloud platform. You can either create it in AWS or Google Cloud platform. I have created in Google Cloud platform. You can configure different clusters as well but i have just configured only one instance and you can notice that the links for Elasticsearch and the kibana ui are present here and there is an id with which i can connect to the elk instances so the dashboard link is also provided here i can go to the dashboard directly from here which is nothing but this i have already opened it you can see that there is only one log currently which is the initial log which i saw um, there is nothing streamed there i couldn't stream anything i couldn't set up a, a instance to stream Logstash instance to stream the data to that Elastic Cloud, but um, this is how it shows up. This is how you can configure Elastic Cloud. However, if you are uh, setting up a uh, own infrastructure in your firm, how this works is you will have Logstash deployed onto your uh, machines. It might be like a collector which collects the data from different machines based on files or streaming data or something like that, and it will stream to the destination. Uh, elastic search instance which can be either in the cloud or in a individual server and there will be a ui over that particular elastic search instance which is nothing but kibana so you will have 
and UI something similar to this so you can create dashboards you can visualize data based on what type of data you have and also it uses Elasticsearch to query the data and Elasticsearch if you know internally uses Lucene database to index its data so the data is can be retrieved much faster because it uses Lucene index and you can if you notice here these are the different fields which are there if you just say add these fields will be filtered here right so you can see the data here getting added one by one right if there are too much of data you can easily query you can easily filter them using that particular field or that particular data which you wanted but i don't have any uh, data to show that but if you notice my splunk video it is almost similar as well splunk also has a similar ui where you have different fields and you can filter out uh, based on the fields so it is almost similar so i'm not going to show uh, by loading the data into the kibana instance but uh, this is how you can set up a kibana or a elk stack where you have a kibana ui to monitor the logs or traverse through the logs or filter the logs you will have a logstash instance which will be streaming the data onto the Elasticsearch instance which will hold the data in a distributed form and elastic cloud is an umbrella which is covering all these three so you can have different configurations if you notice here you can have different configurations of the uh, elastic instance so uh, by default they are providing 4 gig uh, index space 96 gb of uh, cluster size right this is the cluster size you can have i think 4 into whatever so that is the memory which they provide for us uh, in the trial version here and i just selected the google cloud version so that's what it shows up here so it is free for 14 days so you can try out if you are planning to use uh, kibana logstash and uh, Elasticsearch, then you can try out the elastic cloud version similar to how we saw the splunk cloud elastic also has a cloud version which you can try it out so that is all i wanted to cover so this is not an in-depth video on what is elk and stuff but just know that elk stands for elastic search log stash and kibana elastic search is the database component where all the logs will be streamed via the log stash onto the elastic search instance and elastic search is a distributed instance you will have multiple nodes configured in an elastic search instance so you can configure different nodes into onto it and the data can be huge log stash has different source of data which we need which we can push for example you can push the data in the form of streams you can push the data in the form of files logstash will now transform the data into a data with which we can query from the kibana ui logstash will do the transformation job and push the data to elasticsearch and kibana is the ui with which we can query the index the elasticsearch index so that is the elk stack uh, hope you guys understood what is l if you go to this elastic.co um, link there is a webinar where you can register and then watch a complete video on how to get started with elastic search what is elastic search uh, what is log stash what is kibana with in-depth visualizations of how to create dashboards and stuff um, you can just register to it and then watch that particular video or if you have any other uh, tutorial website uh, you can take a look at that but um, this video i just wanted to uh, cover the basics of what is the elk elk stack and what do they stand for and what are the different components inside that that's all i wanted to cover in this particular video hope you like the video meet you again in the next video thank you very much